Hey guys, me and Alex are back with another awesome box of goodies sent to us by a subscriber. Yeah, the boxes keep flying in. You obviously want us to try more American candy, so we're doing it. And this one looks like a bit of a mixture. We've tried some of these things, but there's also lots of things in here that I've never seen before. Yeah. So I'm really excited. We've seen Pez before, but I haven't seen them for no, a long time. No, that's so exciting. That's one it? of the coolest things I think we've been sent. So as always, let's start with our little note. Yeah. And what I love about this box is you have to let me know in the comments down below is this had you got something delivered from target be, or can yeah. you go to target and get these boxes that's it must awesome be delivered isn't it? by target i love target mm. kate and alex greetings from missouri i recently oh that's where that program with jason bateman ozark is. ozark county <laughs> i recently stumbled upon your youtube channel and your fun antics on wtf reeled me in stateside then I saw the videos where folks sent you treats from the US. I love that Americans say folks. Yeah. That's something we don't say here in the UK. You folks. folks. Folks sent you treats from the US and decided that I would send you some candy that we enjoyed as kids in the 60s and 70s. Hey, nice. That's awesome. Yes, it can still be found in novelty shops around the US. Since the 4th of July is just around the corner. Yes, we've had this box a little while, sorry. I also sent you some red, white and blue charm pops. Charm Pops popped up around 1970, if my memory is correct. Baseball season is here in the US and our pro baseball team is the St. Louis Cardinals. That's awesome. I sent you a couple of Cardinals Pez dispensers with the official Major League Baseball label. So I hope the Pez are good, lol. <laughs> well, last time I remember Pez was really good. I hope you enjoy the treats. Don't get sick, Liz. <laughs> you're the first one to actually say that. Yeah, you're the first person to be worried about our health. <laughs> so here are the Pez that she's talking about. They're so cool. Why would you get three in them? So... Which one do you want? The so, hat or the ball? Oh, uh, well, you should probably get the hat, shouldn't oh, you, okay, really? Fine. So, um, it's the same team, but yeah. one's a hat, one's a ball. Yeah. Who, growing up, had Pez? Obviously, I think you can still get them every yeah. now and then. I remember but... we had, like, Disney ones, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Should we give them a go? Yes, please. But it's really nice, because things like this are a real good um, keepsake, aren't yeah. they? Didn't How we do you load them? Oh, there. I'm not sure. Oh, dear. I was trying to do it really... Neatly. This is, it's such a good idea to like give kids something that's dispensable by yourself. That's so much fun. And isn't something it? to do. Oh yeah, because it's got a thing on the back. Yeah. And, and also you, this is perfect. I can tip my hat. Can grab one out. No, that's not how you eat pears. You always go straight into the mouth, don't you? You want to get bacteria all over the that's good. You should do that. What flavour do you go for? Orange. Oh, you've got different flavours in there. Mm. 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 I've got orange, grape. Well, we definitely grape. never had grape. And uh, strawberry. Love it. That's so cool. Thank you. I love the little feet on them as well. I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, my word, yeah. I'm going to leave them on my um, desk. On the desk, yeah. I'm going to give that a nine. Yeah. For I... flavour and for fun. Yeah, I'm going to give that a nine as well. I, I wasn't expecting you to go that high. Yeah. Um, Anything that is fun with food but also tastes good is great. In my and books. I love that it's actually from America yeah. and it means something. And it's, it's made not in just the USA. Toy. Well, it's right. nice that because the thing is, we go through so much candy, don't we? And all you have is the memories of it. Whereas with something like this, you keep it. You actually, oh, I remember doing that box. What would you like to go for next, Al? Mm. Now, we have actually tried these mini Nilla oh, yeah. wafers. Can we try so a couple we... of those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really like that. You enjoy them? Yeah. <laughs> They're it's like nice stra they're more. strange. There's, they're, they're nothing like anything we have. Oh, oh so no. glad we've got coffee right now. We're so like vanilla ring. I love that they have Wonder. little mini packs. Mm. They're excellent. They're so good. I can't remember what I scored them last time, but in the last pack, I was hoping to finish them. Not finish them. Have a few more. I didn't think you liked them that yeah. much. And I went back to have some. All gone. They're amazing. They're so like understated, aren't they? Mm. I like them mucho. I think they're probably a nine though. I'm not yeah. going to give them a ten, but I can't remember what I gave them last time. I feel like I gave them less, but I think sometimes it depends what order we try things in as well. Mm. It's also been ages since we've had a baby yeah. Ruth. I can't actually remember what these taste like. Are we just going to split it or should we, should we just go do one? Yeah, go on. Nestle. Mm, I remember now. Contains peanut. Isn't it like peanuts, caramel? Almost a bit like a Snickers. Oh wow, yeah. Mm. Baby wow. roots are 10. That's delicious. Mm. 
Yeah, it's delish. I think that's a 10 out of 10 for me as well. That's a 10. It's a 10. Absolutely delicious. What are those fruit something? Fruits. These. Mm. Are they juji fruit? How would you say that? Juji fruits. Yeah, I would say so. These are chewy fruity candy. Mm. They look fun, don't they? I've never seen those before. I've never seen these before. Now these look really hard to me, but I don't Do know they? if they actually are. I thought they'd be chewy. Yeah, but like hard, you not. Oh, it's a pineapple, is it? Oh, sure. That is. It's like corn. Oh, is it grapes? A bunch of grapes. Mm. Oh. Oh, kind of hard, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're first. They are chewy. Lime, raspberry, lemon, orange, and anise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the texture of that, a bit too like stuck in my teeth. They're not as hard as I thought they'd be, but they're that chew that once your teeth go into it, the whole sweet stays on the tooth. Mm. It's like, oh. If you're into chewy candies. Mm. You'll like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I like the ones that are a bit softer than that. Mm -hmm. Like, what were the ones we had last well, time? Well, no, I like that texture. I just wish it wasn't so chewy. Yeah, I prefer the starfish the chewy ones. Or the starfish, yeah. Mm. Uh, a bit more like penetrable. Starfish. <laughs> what are they called? Starfish. Swedish fish. You you mix star and starfish. Swedish fish. I was what hoping you go for that. Snow caps. Not a clue what that is. Semi sweet chocolate on non perils. So is this like a mixture of dark and milk? Who wants anything that's semi sweet? Surely you either want it to be sweet or savoury. Oh, that's sweet. This is so they? cute. They're like jazzled. Oh my word, they're literally chocolate chips. Covered in oh, is that why the they're semi candies? sweet? Because that's what they. They're about. literally chocolate chips. What do they taste like? Dark chocolate. Okay. I reckon you'll like them. They're kind of like powdery. I think that's the stuff on top. Mm. I reckon, no thank you. This is one of they the kind of dark, things that Liz is talking about is from the 60s, 70s. Mm. And I reckon this is what you can get from the, um, the specialty shops because. Also, the fact that you can get snow caps midway through the year. I I thought you'd like them because they're almost dark chocolate. No, but they're too powdery. Yeah, I think that's their thing on top. They're not actually as bad as I thought. Like the aftertaste is quite nice. Mm. Um, but I'll probably just give them a six. Oh, by the way, I'm going to give the Juju's a five. Oh yeah, I'll give them a six. I'll give these a six as well. Mm. What are these cherry balls? Well. Oh, sour cherry balls. Maybe you should hold off on those. Sour. For a bit. Do you think? I reckon we go for them. Okay, go so for these it. are from Shawl Candies Cherry Sour Balls. They are fat free. Oh, there's a there's a triple. <laughs> triple crown. I'm not having that one. Mm. Oh, they're a lot softer than I realised. They are like the ones. Mm. They're literally. Mm. Go I get like them. The sour. No joke. They got like um an almost sherbetty centre. Mm. I love the texture. These are really nice. Because they're not, they're so hard, they're hard that you can't press them. But as soon as you bite them, you just kind of... There. Mm, and that sherbet like releases. It says try yeah. our other fun candies, Laffy Taffy, Gummy Bears, Gummy Worms. So they obviously do quite a lot. Mm. Oh, they're delicious, aren't they? Mm. I'm oh. going to, what are you giving them? I'm going to give them an eight. I'm going to give them an eight and a half. Mm. We have tried one of these before. It was a while ago. But should we give it a go? I think we should. Oh, I remember what this is now. So Payday Peanut Caramel Bar. This almost looks like a naked Snickers. And what we said last time is, it, we find it funny when packets are white. Yeah. We don't really get white packets here in England. And we don't mind if we have duplicates. As long as we like them. We're not mad. There we go, the naked Snickers. With a nice bit of caramel straight down the middle. Ooh. That's what I remember. Really salty. Mm, Which is good. Salty. The saltiness of the caramel. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would say that Baby Ruth for me is above payday. Yeah. What do we give those? I think we gave Baby Ruth 10 out of 10, didn't we? Yeah, so that's a 9 for me. That's probably an 8.5 for me. Okay, now, should we try this? Ooh, yes, I think please. this is awesome. It's obviously come in a big multi pack. Yeah. Can we get individual ones in like a share bag we or do we now, only get them in a row? We can now get them in like a share bag but they're not individually wrapped. Oh, they're not. So I think these are, and we can get Rolos in England, but it'll be interesting to see the different flavors. Yeah, because didn't you say they're produced by someone else? I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe these are produced by Nestle in every single country apart from USA, which is produced by the Hershey's company. Which is funny, because there's so much stuff made by Nestle. I know, I don't know. So why maybe wouldn't they, they own just, the right to that? Maybe they just bought them out and said, mm. we would like Rolos. Very different. Very different. 
Like the chocolate tastes sweet. And the caramel in the middle. It's not the same as our caramel. No, it's not like chewy, it's more sugary. I've um When you expect it to be like what you are used to, yeah. it's so strange that it's so different. So I've wanted to put Rolos in our British candy box mm. before, but I then saw that you could get Rolos in America. Yeah. So I was like, oh, don't want to be sending them something they've already got. Mm. Turns out, different company, it tastes so different. So different. So I think I'm going to put a pack of Rolos in our British in candy box. In the next box. box. If you want to get a candy box, I'll leave the link down below. I'm going to put Rolos in there. Oh, so right, just, they're they? nice. It's mm. just like you say, when you're expecting something to taste one way and then it doesn't. Mm. If you do try our Rolos, let us know what you think is better or whatever. Our caramel is a lot chewier, isn't it? Yeah, that, that was nice though. I'll give mm. it an eight. Oh, I'll still give it an eight. Yeah. It's just I didn't think it was bad, it's just strange it's so it's different. It's like Whoppers and Maltesers, mm. Rolos and Rolos, England and US. Should we crack into these? Oh yeah, look at that. So you've got some, I love these little bags that you've provided. So you've got two different things in here. This is really interesting. This is a peanut butter bar. And it's this says Mary Jane. Mary ne Jane. Oh, and that's by the company of Neko, who do the wafers. And I believe that they've just shut down. Hey Google, is Mary Jane a slang term for marijuana? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, is Mary Jane a slang term for anything? According to Wikipedia, Mary Jane, a brand name of confectionery manufactured by Neko. Mary Jane, a slang term for marijuana. That's it literally is. what I said. And she, and she was understand. like, no. So are we eating marijuana here? I don't know. Does anyone else like twist sweets like this together? No. I'm giving it a go. Hey Google, is there any marijuana in Mary Jane sweets? My apologies, I don't understand. Don't understand. If you're from America, let us know why is the term Mary Jane slang for marijuana? Well, it's genetically modified. I think it's just sweetie, malty flavor. Strange. Mary Jane flavor. This flavour was six months in development and is a fairly close approximation of the flavour of cannabis. I want mm. to stress that it is an artificial blend that contains no active ingredients, just flavour. I'm going to try this other peanut butter thing. I reckon it'll be crunchy, do you think? Mm. It'll be crunchy. Oh, I remember that other one we tried. Yeah. It's a in, bit the, like um, that. in the orange stick. It's like sweet and sugary, but peanut butter. We is. don't have anything like this in no. England. Like, I wonder if this is the thing people kind of still have now, or this is just really classic. I reckon this is the classic ones. Those two were some of the most interesting things I've tried from yeah. America. I actually quite like that peanut butter one. And I quite enjoyed the flavour of the other one. It was like malty and... Yeah. I just, again, it was a bit like the other things, a bit too chewy for me. Mm. Shall we go for this? Yeah, I've been wondering what they are. Isn't this rock candy? Maybe. But I believe this is just pure sugar. I'm pretty sure this is rock candy. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I feel like we've been somewhere and they put it in a drink. Really? The shape of it is so cool, but it's not mm. great for sucking on. The shape on. is Probably. amazing. We're going in for the bite. Yeah, because it can, yeah, it's literally sugar crystals, isn't it? Mm. I do like that though, mm. but this blue raspberry is amazing. Good, I know, it? I got a blue tongue. Put that back in there. I'd say that's good though. That's a seven for me. That is nice. Good flavour, just hard to eat. Mm, that's really nice. Seven and a half for me. Oh, should we go in this bag? Oh, what's that bag? Now, I when I opened this, I was like, oh no, she put fresh things in here. I like, thought it was a donut. Like a donut or something. Look at these goodies. Oh, hello. Oh, what's in here? Gold mine. Nugget, Nugget bubble, bubble gum. gum. Oh, that's cool. It's like the oh little stuff. Oh my word! Stuff. We got Zots! So many people have, asked, have said to try and Zots. Cow tails. Hasn't, haven't people said about trying yeah. cow tails? Cow tails, vanilla flavoured, chewy caramel with a cream centre. Should we mm. try these first? Yeah. Is this a cow tail? This is a cow tail. So it's got a vanilla centre. Do you know what these look like? Packets of sugar. Well, that's very strange. Not in a bad way, just not used to that. That right, is quite good though. Mm. But isn't that caramel right. a, a funny texture? It's interesting because caramel like that's usually in the middle. Mmm. It's usually... But it's on the outside with the vanilla in the middle. Mmm. That's cool. I like that. I'd actually give that a 9 out of 10, I think. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. I feel like this is something from the 60s, mm. 70s. Yeah. 
Should we try the Zots first? Mm -hmm. Got watermelon. I love things that are watermelon flavored. Mm. You can open it yourself. That cow tail was delicious. I'm giving that a nine. That's good, isn't it? What? I don't know why this is called Zots. Because it's sour. Mm. Mm. That watermelon is great. It's like fizzy. Mm. 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 That's tangy and good. Mm. There's powder in the middle. What is that? Like no, a sherbet. just baked that. So these are like British lemon sherbets, but in different flavours. So in the middle, look, can you see? We've got <laughs> sherbet in the centre, which is what gives it that zingy flavour. Yeah. Mmm. That apple flavour is delicious. I don't know about the apple, but the watermelon is so great. These are cool. Mmm. I like this. What are you giving these? Um, I really quite enjoy that. I think I'm going to give that a nine. I think... I'm going to put that back in there and finish it later. <laughs> I'm going to give that a ten out of ten. Really? That I would love to take a pack of those on a plane with me. Oh, now that'd with be this, great we'll on a need a certain amount in order for yeah, it to become bubblegum. That's, that's why I've got a handful. This is awesome. Because haven't you have... had some stuff like this before? We've had stuff like this when we were younger, I think. Hmm. I find wow. that that doesn't always work with the small bits going together. It's quite gimmicky. Mm. Oh yeah, because it's meant to be like golden nuggets. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. That's a really good flavour. I'll tell you what that tastes like. Tell me. In England, we have um, ice cream vans and you can get things called a screwball, which is a plastic tub. At the bottom, you have um, a bubble gum. Yeah. And then you have the ice cream on top. It tastes just tastes like that, just like that. bubble yeah. gum. It tastes just like that. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. It tastes like the yellow ones. Mm. This takes me right back to like being a kid. I think I'll give that a nine as I well. I think I'll give that a ten. <laughs> <laughs> and if what, it's alright with nostalgia? you, I'm gonna keep these. Yeah, no, please keep it, please. Oh, that is amazing. We've got a few things left. Now we have actually tried these before. Yeah. And that's the yellow ones in here. Almost taste like the um. Like that. that doesn't it? Mm. Oh, colours. Loads of lollipops. Yeah, in lollies there. in there. Should and we go the Mentos. Mentos first. Mini Mentos. Mini. Yeah, that's small. Oh my word! Get your video camera out. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry, lemon, orange. Now that's another reason why I like Mentos. We do actually get Mentos here in the UK and I believe they taste just the same, but I've never seen mini Mentos before and these are so cute. What color did you go for? Pink. Mm. I forget how good mm. Mentos is. Mmm, the strawberry. I think I'd probably go an eight on those. Mm. I do, it's a good flavour, but it's not the kind of thing I really like to eat. They're delicious. They are good. Really good. I'd probably go eight and a half, nine. That's so good. Right, Is this and then all our we've last got bag. Left? I think we've got three different types of yeah, lollies Yeah, so we've there. got this type, I think. So this is from Charm Sweet Pops, and I believe this is what she means by red, white, and blue. Yeah. So these must have and come then we've out got this uh, the style, 4th of July. And they come in a few different flavours. And these are by the brand... Oh, oh um, no, look, here's a smaller one, that's why. Tootsie. I think... Oh, yeah, Tootsie Roll. Are they the one who make the rolls? Yeah, so is one of these... So that's chocolate flavour. Mm. That's so weird for a lolly. I think that's orange. And this is grape. And then you've got mini, mini ones by the makers of Charms. So the same as that one. And this is crazy cotton candy. That's oh, really wow. cool. We had a really cool flavour in here, I looked before. <gasps> Birthday cake. I'm trying this one. I'm trying the mini cotton candy. Oh, look how cute. I love the colour of that. Oh my word. Oh yeah, I think they're all the same. Oh, that one's darker. Slightly darker. It does taste a bit like cotton candy. That does taste a bit like a birthday cake. Mm. It's funny because when you have a lolly, you think it's like gonna be sweet and fruity. Yeah. But that's not fruity. And this isn't really that sweet, which is quite nice. It's just good flavor. I feel like that is probably the size a child should have as a lollipop yeah. rather than something. Should I try one of these Tootsie Roll ones? Yeah, you, you're going for the chocolate one. I don't, know. I don't know why I expected anything else, but it literally tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Really? Mm. This is raspberry. The chocolate one tastes like why we didn't like Tootsie Roll in the first place. Which some people, funny enough in the comments, it's funny the split between people who are like, oh, hate Tootsie Rolls as well, they're terrible. And then the people who are like, no, I love Tootsie Rolls, what are you saying? Mm. Why are you saying that? Well, no, there's three types of people in the oh, comments. Oh, what's the third one? 
One is, oh, I agree, Tootsie Roll is disgusting. Yeah. Other ones are like, oh, no, I really like them. And then the third one's, that's been in America for so long. How can you be so rude? <laughs> yeah. Just because it's been there so long doesn't mean you have to like it. I actually quite like that raspberry one, but it's funny how it actually does kind of taste like a Tootsie Roll still. Mm. Oh, is Look, that kind of trying it. to be the American flag? It looks like it, but with hair. That's quite a good flavour. At first, it's almost got that artificial flavour of plastic. Mm. And then when you get into it, it's so good. Mm. I would say this lolly was my favourite, and then the mini ones, but they're the same brand. Mm. And then did the you see that? But people might disagree now. But did you see that comment that was like, we can do American accents because of Dick Van Dyke destroying the British accent oh, and Mary yeah. Poppins? <laughs> I like that. For someone, I would never pick a lolly, but that's actually. You're really enjoying that. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you so much, Liz, for sending us that mm. box. That was really good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, cheers, Liz. I really enjoyed it. What yeah. did you think? Well, she said Liz on her thing, but this is Elizabeth there, so I hope you don't mind us calling you Liz. Yeah. Did you enjoy that box? I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy I it? I really enjoyed that. I think it had a real good mix of I things I think it was in a there. really good mix. Thanks, Liz. To say thank you, we want to send you a box of our British candy, and if anyone else watching wants to get yourself a box, head down to the description box below. We'll leave a link and you can get a box and we'll you know make what? sure. We should send Liz some Rolos. To see we what definitely she thinks should send her some Rolos. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.